Nevada will get a baseball team and a ballpark if and when Major League Baseball approves the Oakland A's move to Vegas. Tonight, we're taking a deeper look at what's in the deal and what it all means for taxpayers. The A's or the Major League Baseball team would be required to put up more than a billion dollars worth of capital, and the state's money comes after their money. How does a ballpark get paid for? According to Bill Proponents, the owner of the Oakland A's will put up a billion dollars first. Then Nevada gives $180 million in tax credits. If the stadium performs as expected, Treasurer Zach Conine says Nevada gets $120 million back. Clark County will also give $120 million in bonds. So how exactly is the team going to pay off the county's bond debt? Tax revenue. We're talking about everything in the ballpark from construction, all the materials. And when the stadium opens, the tickets, retail, food, and sales from all the other live events. So in the bill, out of every $2 in tax revenue generated, a dollar goes back to pay for the bonds. A Clark County official tells me this ensures the debts are going to be paid and paid on time. What if the revenue's not stellar? What's the backup plan? Two sets of reserves are built in, or four years worth of bond payments, before the county has to resort to raising property taxes. And we're talking about no one coming to the stadium for four years before the county's general obligation requirement would kick in. Visitation in Las Vegas has continued to increase time after time. I would not uh, gamble my money, although I am from Las Vegas. State Senator Dallas Harris of Clark County speaking to Battleborn Progress was among the third of lawmakers that voted no. She voiced concerns about the high attendance projections and says, Allegiant was funded by an increase in the room tax. Its ability to be funded was independent of the performance of the stadium. Here, we are entirely relying on sources of revenue to be generated at the stadium. So lawmakers did give a seat to the state treasurer on the stadium authority board. They're going to sit as a non-voting member, but the treasurer will be able to weigh in how exactly the tax breaks are being used and how those bonds are being paid off.